The nation of Nepal carries a spiritual tradition extending back 3,000 years. But today, it's the 187th least literate nation on Earth. Consequently, it bears no real infrastructure for social progress, and upwards of half the population live a hand-to-mouth existence. But consequent to that, the setting turns to the Mount Gauri Shankar School in central Kathmandu. It caters to an array of children from the Nepalese elite, military, government, and business. Its school principal is leading Nepalese educator B.J. Sharma, whose story begins with his search for a practical resolution to Nepalese academic failings. He soon finds himself linking with the online presence of Applied Scholastics International. In expedient reply, Applied Scholastics dispatches Study Tech Ambassador and longtime Asian emissary Evelyn Clark. Evelyn, in turn, presents fundamental APS materials and courses, including Learning How to Learn, the Basic Study Manual, and Study Tools for Educators. Whereupon BJ commences an intensive regimen to assimilate the basics of LRH study technology and all in preparation for a pilot with representative students at his Mount Gary Shankar School. That failure rates run intolerably high is the whole point. Hence, BJ's presentation of the three barriers to study on behalf of eighth and ninth graders. Next was the Gauri Shankar nursery class and instruction in study tech as presented in learning how to learn. There was more of the same through the mid grades including a study tech infusion in the Department of Mathematics, a subject deemed especially crucial to Nepalese social progress, and hence intensive use of clay demos to provide the mass for every abstract concept. Then too, there was the chemistry lab, where they work with the actual material and substances, and where the LRH datum on too steep a gradient is embedded right into the curriculum. At which point, the pilot culminates in a result just as rightly regarded with considerable awe. For while passing rates previously hovered around 30%, suddenly, and without precedence, every student makes the grade, and that from just the mere basics. Thus, the story inevitably turns to the Applied Scholastics campus at Spanish Lake, the international emanation point for study tech. It's designed to train top educators as study tech specialists, and Professor Sharma knew he needed it all, meaning the full lineup of APS courses, including advanced communication skills, advanced fundamentals of instruction, and the Applied Scholastics curriculum course. The professor graduates as a gold certificate trainer with APS authority to hat study tech supervisors all over Nepal. All of which, in turn, brings the story to a sequence that meets every definition of national inculcation. It begins with Kathmandu's Prosecutant Academy. It's another English co-ed for sons and daughters of Nepalese elite. Its principle is likewise progressive. And so, accordingly and without delay, BJ Sharma indeed now trains the trainers. Then again, there's the Asmita School along Kathmandu's southern perimeter. It lies at the other end of the cultural map and so comprises a first study tech presentation in one of the deep poverty zones with seminars on study tech for all resident teachers. At which point, BJ was reaching out even farther into the rural communities with workshops for instructors at a secondary boarding school. Then even farther still, on a hilltop 350 kilometers from Kathmandu, where BJ instructs teachers of some 500 children from rice farming villages. After which, he was back in Kathmandu with still more again for teachers in what's known as autonomous schools, who provide instruction from nursery to 12th grade. And so it went, until BJ had built no less than a movement comprised of some 1,600 study tech educators across the whole face of Nepalese academia. Whereupon, all gears start meshing to write another chapter of this story. 
It rolls out first from resident teachers presenting study tech to students in Kathmandu secondary boarding schools. The same again out along the China Road at the Mount Sinai English Boarding School. There was still more at government secondary schools serving outlying villages. Still more again across international academies for children from the diplomatic corps. And even into the monasteries for novitiate monks. At which point, it truly went everywhere. Forcing through academic arteries into every ethnic and corner of the culture. Impacting well over a million students. And so transforming the whole foundation of Nepalese education. Until the story comes full circle with the replication of an emanation point all unto itself. The establishment of Nepal's new permanent Applied Scholastics Training Center as inaugurated by the Ministry of Education and a United Nations representative. Yet even still, there's an epilogue to this story because the federal government then officially called for the implementation of L. Ron Hubbard's study technology into every public and private school across the Nepalese nation. <laughs>